you know, it's very at the tip of his fingers. But he has been quite able to get it. And I think maybe going to other characters, rounding himself out as a player a little bit more instead of just kind of, you know, being Luigi right, right. embodiment might do him some good. And, he, you know, it might come full circle where he struggles with Luigi, branches out a little bit, but then comes back to Luigi and all of a sudden is just uh, something will cook in his brain to make it happen. So we got um, Elegant versus Kiko Man. We saw Kiko Man earlier on the stream rocking the Lucina. And using the Shine tag before, too, so it seems to be intentional. Yeah, yeah. For sure. <laughs> Maybe he just knows Shine and they just use the same controls. Right. Either that or he's trolling Shine and changing his could, controls up. <laughs> could be trolling Shine. But right now, Kiko Man definitely taking advantage of the range that Lucina has and. Pretty much choosing exactly when he wants to fight Luigi, but I believe like we have double news. jump here, and the back air should do the trick here. And Elegant gonna get edge guard there, and Luigi just a character with not too many options off stage, especially in this game with the uh, Cyclone nerf. Right. Um, it, it's, it can be really hard for Luigi to get back on stage, especially against a character like Lucina, one of the best off stages in the game. Right. Just the edge guarding machine, and it's just you know it kind of looked almost tailor made for. For Kiku Man, just the back air to take the stock. Just yeah, I'll take back air. So <laughs> good. I like the ledge jump to wave land there. I'm gonna try to catch that ledge roll in, but the, uh, the down be there, almost taking the stock there for Elegant, but not quite enough. And let's see if Elegant's able to make something of it. Wow, good down air Man, confirm. That was so much damage. Okay. It always surprises me like at what percents that'll actually connect on. Uh. Oh yeah, there's like this sour part where you just like they don't go anywhere. Yeah. You can just get smash attacks. And it's, it's crazy. Oh man, that uh. backer almost connects, but Kiko Man able to get onto the ledge, trying to go for this corner pressure, but Elegant finds his way back. Oh, and there's the neutral B almost taking the stock. Elegant off stage once again burns his double jump, goes high with the green missile, able to get back on stage. They're doing his best. It's just uh, you know it's. A pretty big lead building right now for Kiko Man. Well, again, no double jump on Elegant, able to Cyclone, but not able to make it back. And oh. Okay, yeah. I mean. They're both dead, uh, you know, Kiko Man will take it. Yeah, I, I think Kiko Man didn't even have to really go off stage at that point, yeah. but all right. Uh, he's still up an entire stock, so see what he can do here. 19% off the Dancing Blade. Let's see if Elegant is able to dig deep and make some magic happen, kind of unlock that top player that lies within that we know is there. There we go. Yep. Speaking of which, he just ties it up. And yep, that's what happens when you stop platform camping. <laughs> Kiko Man was actually platform camping that uh, first thought. Oh my goodness. Um, going for that down air or that low percent edge guard. But he gets grabbed, but it's at the edge there, so it's not too bad. Okay. Now we can try to set up the ledge trap with the plunger. Oh, there's the up tilt. I'm going to get something started here. Oh, that sour up air to back air. Still a thing. So much damage. I'm not sure why uh, Elegant went for the grab in that situation. Might have been able to keep the pressure on. And now you have Kiko Min just uh, putting in pressure of his own. And this game is so close. It's, it's, it's crazy because he was up an entire stock. Right. That one grab was able to even things up. Kiko Man going to get the down air, but he doesn't get the sour combo spot. Okay, gets the trump, but very good reaction coming out from Elegant going right into the ledge roll. Which player is going to blink first? It's getting to those tense last hit moments. Yeah, right now, Kiko Man trying to close out the distance. The fireball is in the defense. Oh man, Elegant gets the center stage, but what is he going to do with it? Gets swatted out with the fair. And he's just relentless off stage after Elegant. Yeah. Wow, that down air almost killed him off the top. The frame trap fair. He had to burn the double jump early here. Oh, directional air dodge to the ledge. Oh, gets the oh, roll read. Wow. He got the roll read, but he went too early. Like yeah. a JV, like he got the Paul Walker situation. Yeah, he, he, too soon. a little too soon. <laughs> Elegant was able to punch with the down smash. And wow, Kiko Man definitely had that game. But what clutch coming out from Elegant there. Noticing, yeah, the, I mean, pretty much going to whiff punish that up smash. And even getting that grab when he was down a whole entire right. stock as well. So really clutch stuff coming out from Elegant. Going to make it work. Yeah, I made that call, right? I said, is he going to dig deep? Well, he dug deep right there and tied it up, and we're coming into game two. But if you're Kiko Man, you got to kind of feel like, man, Elgin kind of got away with one. I probably had that. Just kind of got to go back to uh, the game plan, not change up too much stuff, just try not to get zero to death, and might be looking at a, a big victory. Oh, yeah. That's always that's always the hard part, right? You know, if you lose just by, just by a little bit, it's uh, you always have that 
choice to make, whether it's an execution play or if it's uh, I have to actually change my game plan on it. And oh, no, double jump. Okay. Looks like a little bit of the reverse. Uh, Elgin doing some edge guardian of his own. Yeah, really good lead trap and the tornado in disadvantage here. Trying to get this back air, but not going to find his mark. Oh, but he nares off stage. Oh, tried to hit him with the uh, the Zare into the uh, the roll read. And it still had his double jump and made it back. Okay, down throw, the fall up here to get the reverse up air, but no back air to follow. Oh, no double jump. He's going to go for it. Wow, beautiful tech coming out from Elegant. Tries oh, to get wow. the Cyclone, but Sage's double jump still going to make it back on a Sage's forward smash. Not going to connect, but the back throw will. And for, you know, kind of the first time, we have Kikaman working with a deficit instead of a lead. Good aggressive play. Just goes out and gets him. Yeah, he's been going for these edge guards. Finally nails the one he needs to stay even within the set. But, I mean, we saw him going so far. Oh, wait. This, this could uh -oh. be the zero to death. No, yeah, yeah, he has to catch up with the back here. Really good DI mix-up coming out from Kikoman. Was going out, and then he switched back to in. So Elegant w wouldn't be able to continue, like, the falling up air part. Because instead of... Uh, now they do falling up air into the uh, up B. Right. But if you DI in, they can't get that. Right, if you get behind them, then he's going to have to back air and just take the damage instead exactly. of the stuff. There's a tornado coming out from Elegant. Pretty uh, pretty back and forth. The parry into the forward smash, too. Reading the drift as well. Really good stuff from Elegant. Elegant just, you know, it looks like he's kind of losing neutral left and right, but he's making the plays that he needs to to win. Oh, and here we go. Here's oh, the damage. Is, yeah. Oh, just missed the follow-up, but is able to get away with it. Uh, no forward smash punish from Kikaman. Yeah, and right there we saw him able to get that falling up here, but not connect. So, so close to connecting that up in. That would have been the game. Right. So now, um, now oh. Kikaman is out of the uh, percentage, so he doesn't really have to uh, platform camp as hard, but Elegant throwing up the tent, bringing out the fireballs, tries to go for the dash grab, but the spot dodge is going to work out for Kikaman. Yeah, Elgin's going to have to do this the old-fashioned way and take the stock uh, <laughs> by racking up the damage. He's got him up to 100. Oh, no tech on Kikoman, but he gets the up tote into the back air. Elegant burns his double jump, goes for the nato, but no, tries to go for that hard read. But the boots, the back air, and Elegant will take the 2-0 versus Kikoman. Clutch play from, from, uh, from Elegant. Oh, yeah, for as, sure. As it looked like he was on the ropes like most of the match, and but he made the plays that he needed to to take the win. Kikoman, of course, you know,